All right, thanks for being here today. Now, what we want to look at is uh, using a MIDI drum kit. Uh, I have one back there. We're going to look at using that today, and we're going to look at how we can get the MIDI sounds from the drum kit into BandLab. And we're going to test it out and see if BandLab is actually able to record all of the MIDI hits. I've got a series of uh, four different parts right now using BandLab and using the different effects that you can have a look at and I'll link the playlist above there for you to have a look at. Uh, other than that, uh, I want to thank you for being here. Uh, if you would do me a favor and hit the like and subscribe buttons below and the notification bell too if you want to be notified of any other videos. So anyway, let's get to it. Okay, so we're just gonna have a look here at our Yamaha DT Explorer kit, and we're gonna see if it's able to record into BandLab, and we'll try it on an Android device first, and see how it handles the MIDI data coming out of the Yamaha DT Explorer into a MIDI instrument in BandLab itself. We're gonna use the uh, M-Audio Uno, and we're gonna connect that to our four port anchor USB hub. So we'll make that connection here, okay? And then we'll plug that in, check the green light. Okay, and then the only other thing is I'm gonna connect this audio cable so I can get the sound coming in and out of there. Okay, we'll put the metronome on. Great. Go back here. Add a kit, hit drums, add my classic rock kit, and should be good to go here. Now the only other thing I'm gonna do is just solo my kit here. Terrible, terrible, terrible drumming. Bring that down. And there's our hits. Let's see what it sounds like. Okay. So we're gonna have to figure out which drums were which here. So if I open that up, hit edit. Okay, there's our hits. I'm not convinced it grabbed everything. So it doesn't look like the BandLab Android version actually recorded the hits that were missing. Um, my bass drum, my snare, it completely missed those. So there's no way for you to actually copy and paste and move them around like you could in GarageBand, which kind of sucks because it would be nice if they included that. Now what we should do is have a look at an iOS device and see if it actually grabs it there. That would be interesting to see if the iOS version is different in that it takes the extra MIDI than the band lab on Android. So we'll double check that really quickly here. We'll use the same song. We'll just add another track so that we can differentiate. Let's see what happened there. Hmm. Nope, 
looks like it did the exact same thing as the Android version. Took all the hits that it didn't know and it just dumped them on top of existing drum tracks. So in that one, that's a win for GarageBand. It takes all the MIDI hits and just puts them in a pool and separates them still for you to edit later. Um, the only other option you have is using the web version of BandLab. So wanted to thank you for checking this out and seeing if we could map the Yamaha DTX using BandLab. We're going to look at the web version in another video. And I think we're going to have success there because in the web version, they have a tool called MIDI mapping, which allows you to map different hardware controllers that you may be using and set the maps to the MIDI instrument that you want to use inside of BandLab web version. So I'm hoping that they'll uh, maybe add MIDI mapping to the Android uh, and iOS apps as a feature uh, down the road. Uh, using the e-drums like we used, maybe it doesn't work so well. Uh, maybe it's just my particular set because it's an older set. Uh, probably the newer, ver newer sets or newer electronic drums would do a better job at it. Maybe some of the new Alesis Nitro kits or some of the new Roland V drums, probably even some of the newer Yamaha uh, electronic drum kits too would do a better job than mine. Mine's fairly old. So if you weren't sure, you can check in the manual of your electronic drum kit at the MIDI mapping. And if you can edit those on the electronic drums, then you can edit them so that they match up with the electronic uh, MIDI notes that are being sent and that BandLab recognizes. So, so that way you can compare the two and make sure that whatever electronic drum kit you have, that you're able to actually edit the MIDI notes coming out of the drum module and then going into BandLab. That way they'll sync up and you won't have the issues that I was able to have uh, with using the old Yamaha DT Explorer. Next video we're gonna do is looking at the web version. We'll just do a quick look at using MIDI mapping with the BandLab web version. Other than that, um, if this video helped you at all, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified of any new videos we have coming out right away. Other than that, thanks for being here. Keep making music. What happened there? <laughs> Lucas, you got all the wipes out of that package or there's some left? <laughs> Hey. Are these yours too? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, there you go.